everyone, I'm Jackie Powell here with one of the hottest DJs out here in LA, Sandra Luce. How's it going, Jackie? I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> good. We were just chatting earlier about just all the things that you've been doing around in LA, all the hot spots that you've been DJing at. Let us know exactly what you do out here in Hollywood. Welcome to my world. Okay, well, um, just to give you an idea, I just got flown to Montreal uh, for a celebrity birthday, and I was on the same stage with Eddie Money and Loverboy. Wow. Which was pretty epic. I mean, yeah. rock legends, and then, uh, you know, mixing EDM house music was, was pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, what was it like in Montreal? I'm sure it was very live and exciting. So much fun. Yeah. They were so welcoming. Mm -hmm. um, it was probably one of my best sets or best times, you know, uh, DJing. And I, I mean, I say that, I guess, with every event that I do, mm -hmm. but it truly was so memorable. And because you're in a different, you know, country, a different city with different people, and mm -hmm. it's just, they're, they're just more enthusiastic, you know, when you, when you travel elsewhere yeah. and, uh, and welcoming. How hard has it been for you, a woman as a DJ? You know, there are a lot of women DJs, but I feel like a lot of, there's more men DJs. How is it breaking into the industry for you? Yeah, for sure. So uh, about five years ago is when I, you know, six years ago is when I really decided, hey, I want to give this a try. Mm -hmm. And um, there weren't that many female DJs. And that was like kind of taboo. Like, what are you doing? And mm -hmm. what am I going to tell my parents? And, yeah. <laughs> you know, that whole thing. And so I just kind of kept it like as a hobby. And then, you know, I, after a year of being like a bedroom DJ, I was kind of like, well, I, I just want to like, yeah. you know, if guys can do it, I want to do it too. And and there was this one um, uh, DJ in LA, DJ uh, uh, Tatiana Fontes, who was all over. And I was like, this girl's doing it. Yeah. Like, I can do this. That's cool. So she kind of inspired me to come out. And uh, and then I realized, like, there are so many more, you know, mm -hmm. women DJs now, more so now than ever before. You have a passion for music, but how do you start with DJing? Like, you were in your room. What were you doing? Were you just messing around with, like, some music? How did, how did you get how into did it? Well, that's a great question yeah. because I didn't grow up saying I want to be a DJ. Mm -hmm. um, it was, in fact, in 2008, I, uh, I went to Mykonos. It's a Greek island. And uh, I just wanted to go for vacation. And I ended up meeting a friend who was a manager at one of the fa you know famous clubs called Cabo Paradiso. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, I was there every night that they were open, and not only there, but in the DJ booth oh with God. the most famous DJs ever. No like way. my my heroes that I looked up to. You yeah. know, I mean, you talking about Sven, uh, Sven Bath, Tiesto, Armin Van Buren, Diplo. I mean, every, like Digweed. They were all, they all go there and perform, and yeah. so. And again, I'm in the DJ booth not thinking I'm going to be a DJ. I'm just, just taking hanging out. it all in, wow. listening. And I'm talking about hours. I mean, we were there from, let's say, we would get to the club. Dinner at like 11 p.m. Uh -huh. with them, 12 a.m. And then we get to the club around 2 a.m. and probably leave around 9 a.m. Wow. So it was really incredible. And those were hours of like just listening and experiencing and, and watching what they're doing. Right. and. And then, you know, when I went back to LA, I just got infected. I was like, You're you know like, what? It's going down. It's going it's down. Going down. <laughs> yeah. And it was just for like me, for my own hobby, my own passion. Mm -hmm. So what are some kind of do's and don'ts when you were watching all the DJs and your experience oh. of over the years? What are some do's and don'ts of DJs? <laughs> okay, girl. There might be some people that just bring out the laptop and just like hit play and then they think that they're a DJ. But I'm sure there's so much more that, that goes into it. Yeah, no, no, yeah. absolutely. I mean, what the first thing that popped in my, in my, in my head was the, like for me, and I think a lot of DJs can relate, is when people come up and say, can I request a song? That's a don't? That is a big don't. Oh no! Oh my gosh, that Guilty is a huge Jesse. don't. <laughs> I mean, this is like I want to wear a t-shirt say I'm not a jukebox because here's what happens when you start like saying, okay, yeah, one person might want techno, mm. the next hip hop, the next country, and then and then you're out of your element. You're out of like. Like what makes me special, I gotta stick to that brand. I gotta stick to taking people on a journey with what makes right. me unique as a DJ. Yeah. And it's sort of like what I like to explain to other people. It's like an artist, you know? They're gonna paint and they have their palette and they, they have their paintbrush and they have their technique. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna go and like rain on their parade, you know? Like you should use this color. Yeah, <laughs> you don't do that. So right. I mean, 
that's really like, and I, I'm sure a lot of DJs, you know, feel the same way. And wow. I feel like that is probably my, like my ultimate don't do that. That is so funny. I'm glad that you're making it clear <laughs> for all of us because I know I'm that one person that like, Slips the money like, here, can you play this song? And the DJs probably look at me like, you're ruining my vibe here, Jackie. Move along. What's a good thing for a DJ to definitely put into practice? I think, you know, what I, what I like to do um, personally is I do spend, you know, some time preparing for every venue, every... I like to take people on a journey. Mm -hmm. So my biggest do would be to really take the time and dig deep and kind of just really feel the vibe for that for that for that event mm -hmm. for that venue for the type of people that are going to be there mm -hmm. and sit and really prepare a well done set so that when I go on live I kind of know the direction I want to go even though I'm not going to go exactly like what I prepared, but at right. least I have a direction. <laughs> I like it. I yeah. like it. So to switch it up a little bit, you are, you're all over LA and you played at some of the hottest spots, but you have a really big passion for acting too. And you've been doing that for years. I'm going to walk out of here and I ain't going to never come back. Hey, I didn't see you there. Hi, I'm Trish. Aaron, was it? Yeah. Mm. Ave yete, a roku a ia, a ha, gueve. Joshua, she teve. Are you working on anything right now? Yeah, um, really exciting. I just booked a movie that um, I have to sing and dance and wow. act. So it's really fun because that's mm. something that, um, I, you know, those those situations are rare, you know, nowadays. Mm -hmm. So um, it's really fun. It's an all Latin cast. Um, we're shooting in Mexico in November. Ooh. Yeah. It's never a bad thing to film in Mexico, right? No. It's like working and vacation at yeah, the same time. Except that, it, thank goodness it's not Cabo and bless people's hearts over there. Yeah. I can't believe that happened. Have, have you been able to use anything with DJ, like the mindset or the skills, mm -hmm. and take that kind of into acting, do you think? You know, um... I don't know. I guess what happens when I like perform like a first show, I always get like nervous, like that, that excited, nervous. Mm -hmm. And then same with acting, like when I'm about to go to set, it's like that exciting, it's more exciting than nervous. Mm -hmm. So at that, those two elements are kind of the same, um, but pre pre preparation, I think like for, for both DJing and acting, mm -hmm. just knowing that I put the time in, preparing myself, I come in so much more confident and it just goes so much smooth, you know, so much more smoothly. So right. I mean, those, those are the kind of things that are Kind of similar? Yeah, yeah. Your Holiness? Sister Sarah will suffice. Okay. Is there somewhere I should sit? We don't believe in the comforts of the modern world. Oh. But you have a chair. Oh. <gasps> Penance. Oh, I'm good. Which one do you get more fulfillment out of? Because DJing is a lot of fun, acting I'm sure is a lot of fun, you have a passion for both, but which one would you say that you probably get the most fulfillment out of? You know, I get that question asked a lot, mm -hmm. and I have to honestly say, it's, I equally get satisfaction and fulfillment out of both of them, because yeah. when you're present, when you're living your life in the, in the present moment, that's all that really matters. And so you get that natural high, I get that natural high either if I'm on set, working with like, you know, on an episodic or on a, on a film or hosting, um, being here, like I feel like I'm on a natural high, <laughs> um, or performing, you yeah. know, on, on a show. Like it's, it's all pretty much like that exciting high that you get where mm -hmm. I don't think you can really get that anywhere else. So if people want to go and watch you DJ and stuff like that, where can they find you and where can they listen to your stuff? Well, currently, if you're in L.A., um, I'm uh, at Circle Bar in Santa Monica on Tuesdays. Oh, get out! <laughs> oh, my God! Yes! It's always a good place to go and have a really good time Totally, totally. Like, it's just a fun place. Yeah, and, like, really, like, well-priced drinks. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Everywhere else, it's, like, 20 bucks for a drink. Jeez. <laughs> Um, and then on Thursday nights, um, I have my residency at 41 Ocean Club, oh, which awesome. is on Ocean Avenue in Santa Monica. It's fantastic over there, too. You have to thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. And I really appreciate you sharing about your DJing, everything. Yeah. And your movie, too. When does that come out, and where can people see that movie? The or one that's at the Catalina Film Festival. Mm -hmm. That's going to be premiered Saturday at 3 p.m. in Catalina. Um, and then we'll see. We'll see what happens from there. I mean, this is just the beginning of uh, the film festival 
round. So I'm really excited. What do you think about Paris Hilton and her DJing? Next. <laughs> 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 Not too much. Um, we don't have to post it. No, I'm, I'm really just kidding. Interested in I'm just kidding. I, you know what? I don't know too much about it. No. I really don't, honestly. I mean, mm. good for her. I th and like again, like anyone can learn mm. any skill. So she's put the hours in, and she's doing it. She's really like performing live. Much respect to her. Yeah. Um, but if she's not, and she's like just pressing a button. <laughs> <laughs> No pressing, but you need to learn that skill. Yeah, that's another don't. Awesome. Well, if you could just tell all the viewers where they can find you, yeah. aside from your uh, shows, but just on social media. Love social media, so connect with me. I'll follow back. Everything is at Sandra Luce. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, my website, Sandra Luce. L-U-E-S as in Sam, S as in Sam, E. Luce. Luce. I love it. I love it. It just rolls off your tongue. Hey, it's your girl Sandra Luce, and you're watching Entertainment Scoop. <laughs>